Um, I'm glad to be here today. I, I gave this same presentation at the School Finance Council about a month and a half ago. Uh, I'm going to start just real quick with a stimulus update, at least from the perspective of my role at TEA. Um, the, the main things that I think I'm going to be involved in, I'm already involved in the Qualified Zone Academy bonds, which we call QZAB. And, and of course, we've got some new funding on that. And uh, Jesus mentioned a, a change in some of the kind of arbitrage related aspects of it. Uh, QZAB hasn't been real popular the last couple of years, and I think that change will, will help make it a more popular program again. The uh, Department of Education uh, that talks about the, uh, the, you know, what are some of the requirements uh, dealing with that uh, it must create jobs and that there will be reporting uh, uh, requirements uh, once the money starts flowing in, having to uh, determine uh, that there will be jobs that were created as a result of the stimulus package. So here are some typical value components for construction projects. Uh, these, a lot of folks, they'll, they'll focus on one or the other of these value components. They're all important factors. Uh, time, of course, is, um, projects need to start on time. They, they need to finish on time. Put together bid packages, advertise and evaluate and award. Um, so time's always a critical factor, and execute that uh, for the price that he had given us already, and we went out to bid for the rest of the package. Well, lo and behold, when we got our competitive bidding uh, prices back for the putback, it, it was right at what the AE estimates were. And so, uh, long and short of it, uh, had we used the job order contract for the whole project, we would have saved, the university would have saved $94,000 on a, on a $1.1 million project. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Goya Vice President, California and Texas, Mr. Evelio Fernandez. Thank you. Good to see so many good friends here. Well, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Goya's 75th anniversary preview and tasting. Today, we're proud to be sharing a variety of information about Goya, its growth, and its plans to celebrate a milestone, our 75th anniversary. As part of this 75th year uh, program, we want to give back by uh, donating 750,000 pounds of food in 10 different locations, 75,000 each location to add up to 750,000 pounds of food, uh, giving back to the community and also in Puerto Rico, additional food. Um, and um, there is a, a great need in this country and we're thankful and we wanna give back. Goyes. Thank <laughs> you. 